CataractCoach.com, demonstrating trabeculum bypass. This is after an eye stent placement. You can demonstrate blanching of the limbal vessels. And our guest surgeon here is doing the new eye stent, and this is a gonio prism on top of the cornea. The eye is tilted away from the surgeon. The microscope is tilted towards the surgeon to get this view here. And you can see good visualization of the angle here and bringing the insertion device close to that trabecular meshwork. Now, we've featured many of these MIG surgeries before. They're effective, but to a degree. I think on the spectrum of glaucoma procedures, you have many different options, and it's up to the surgeon to decide what's best for the patient. So if a case of very severe glaucoma, maybe this isn't the best option, but for more mild to moderate cases, this could be very good. So you can see this is the uh, ice stand that it has two devices. There's one being placed there, and then about a clock hour or 30 degrees away is the other device. And that looks great. So here's the demonstration. So at the end of the case, a little bit of blood you see there in the angle is normal. Getting the IOP up and putting uh, BSS in the eye, you can see it blanches those vessels right there. So you can see in, in that vessels get blanched just from the BSS. And so you know this thing is definitely working. Now, other videos have shown tripan blue dye being injected, and you can see the blue dye egressing under the same um, episcleral vessels there. But in this situation, just even bound salt solution is enough to demonstrate this. And so these MIGS devices are usually done at the end of surgery, and that's after the eye walls and the capsule bag, and the eyes are full of viscoelastic. And then here again, demonstrating the same thing. Now, yes, in this video, the surgeon's made looks like an extra paracentesis near that um, nasal angle in order to demonstrate this. But you can see injecting the BSS, and then you get very nice blanching. So that's demonstrating good outflow. You're bypassing that trabeculum, which doesn't flow as it should, or at least not sufficient for the patient's um, condition. So I encourage all cataract surgeons, certainly learn how to use the MIGS procedure, especially if you're a young surgeon. You can certainly learn this during your residency training. And it's something that you may find useful for many of your glaucoma patients who have concurrent uh, cataracts. You can do the cataract surgery in the same sitting, do the MIGS procedure. Remember, just doing cataract surgery alone actually will lower the IOP, right? Think about it, because you're replacing that thick human crystal lens, which is often four and a half or even five millimeters thick, you're replacing it with a very thin eye well of a millimeter or so in thinness. As a result, the angle of the eye tends to open up, and certainly it fixes any issues of narrow angle just by doing cataract surgery. But in addition, you may get an increase in fluid flow and therefore lower IOP. So in general, all cataract surgery patients, whether or not they have glaucoma, tend to get an IOP benefit from doing cataract surgery alone. And then doing a mixed procedure on top, that adds even a little bit more. So nice video here. Thank you for sending it in.